The contents of this video are going to be very difficult for most of you to watch. If you are a person that gets easily creeped out by stuff like this, you probably should go on to another video at this time. But for the rest of you who feel like you want to take a shot at watching this, I want to warn you, this is, this is not easy to watch. I promise you that. And so I'm going to give you the top five creepiest Kenneth Copeland clips of 2020 here in this video. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Kenneth Copeland has been known for many years as a man who um, really, for the atheistic crowd and for people that you know have rejected Christianity all, all, all together, uh, Kenneth Copeland is the guy that they kind of look to for all of their sound clips and there is a number of different spoof videos and satire uh, involving Kenneth Copeland. Uh, much of it from the anti-Christian world, some of it from the Christian world. And uh, the Lord knows that I have done my fair share of satire with many of these outrageous charismatic leaders. And, uh, and it's, it's, of course, it's funny to do all that stuff. But, uh, but the things I'm going to show you in this video bring me no joy. Um, I, I kind of thought about, could I maybe take a satire angle with the things that I'm about to talk about? And in this video, I decided not to because of just, to me, it's a serious thing. This is a serious nature. Now, I, uh, I like satire. I, I like having fun. Nobody likes have, having fun more than I do. But in this video, I want to just show you the things that this man is saying and try to expose the truth about what he is to the world. Um, I want the non-Christian crowd to know that Kenneth Copeland does not represent Christianity whatsoever. Please do not think that he does. He is not an, an, an accurate representation of Christianity. Uh, his views are so outside of the uh, what has been called Orthodox Christianity, uh, so far out of that, that he, he really doesn't represent it. I, I think Kenneth Copeland is a mystic. Uh, he is a spiritist. And I do not think he is a Christian at all. So I want to play with you, uh, play with you one clip real fast that um, that he was famous for. And this was when Inside Edition kind of ambushed him and uh, interviewed him, and he got aggravated real quick. And I want you to just see the, just it's almost as if you can see demons coming out of this man as he deals with these things. So uh, just watch this video with me. I'll give some commentary along the way. Do you ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay. Again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No. Okay, so he said something about, I don't want to get in a commercial jet because of the demons that are in there. And she took that as he was meaning the people, but Copeland's going to go on and explain that I wasn't meaning people. I was meaning that in a spiritual sense. But but I want you to notice his reaction to her as she, as she asked this question. And I think her question was completely reasonable. And, and to his credit, I think his answer was fine. And But I want you just, just to see how he acts towards this woman. And you can see that there's something going on inside this man's soul that is very troubling. And just watch this. We believe that human beings are demons. No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. And you just see the, the dark, cold stare of this man. And and some people would say that his that's just his disposition. He's just some alpha male type guy, and that's just how he talks because he's from Texas. But I would venture to say there's, there's more going on than just that. And I want to show this to you because he's been well known for clips like this for just outrageous behavior for a very long time. And uh, this is something I wanted to point out to you. We wrestle not. With flesh and blood. And of course, he puts the smile back on real quick once powers. he. Can once you he explain he what you it. meant by that? Yes. That by that term, then yes. just just explain because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? The, well, let me ask you. Do you think that let people that fly you. commercial are demons? If you give me a chance to talk, sweetheart. I'll explain this to you. But it's a biblical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It doesn't have anything to do with people. And so, and and to his credit, his response was reasonable, and uh, and I'm not endorsing the guy, of course, but but he just noticed how he acts towards people. Now, this was his first clip during the year he was uh, talking about the whole medical situation that the world has, and he just got up there, got up there, and just said, "I just declare this to be over with. I declare it in typical word word of faith fashion." 
and uh, and I want you just to see the things that he said during this time. Judgment right now. Because we in have the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I just want to stop right there and just I love how he cut off that guy. <laughs> that was uh, very entertaining to watch. But just just notice the things that he's saying. And this was earlier in 2020. And if you notice the things that he said did not come to pass. Standing in the office of the prophet of God. I execute judgment on you. I execute judgment on you, Satan, you destroyer, you killer, you get out, you break your power, you get off this nation. I demand judgment on you. I demand, I demand, I demand a vacation to come immediately. Yes. And so if you if you notice, he just gets up there and I just I demand, I demand, I demand, I I demand. And he names off a couple of things that he wants, and none of these things had happened. I mean, this was this was a long time ago. This was earlier in the year, and it, it has not done, you been done yet. And so we'll see after that that his first declaration, his first demand as he stood in the office of the prophet of God, I'm saying that with quotations around it, it never came to being. And so he did the same thing again just a few months later. Uh, just to kind of take a second shot at declaring this whole thing to be over and see how it goes. Almighty! Almighty! Strong! Strong! South wind! South wind! And you see his eyes. Heat! He, he just Heat. acts crazy. Burn this thing! Burn this thing! In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Satan, you bow your knee! Satan, you bow your knee. You fall on your face. You fall on your face. Nineteen. And so he just blows. I blow, I blow. The, wind of God. the wind of God. The wind of God. On you. On you. You are destroyed forever. And you'll never be back. And you'll you'll never never be back. Okay, so this was in the middle of the year, and so he just gets up and just, just I guess, blows the wind of God on the whole world, and and says, "I declare you gone." And 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 it it never happened. It never happened. It just shows that this man is is like he's like a lunatic, and and I. I there's, a, there's so much going on here, it's really difficult even to break it all down. But I think this man has something going on spiritually of a demonic nature that has so warped his own mind that he's not even coherent. I mean, this is, this is the ramblings of a man who's lost touch with reality. And now I understand we walk by faith, not by sight. I understand that we kind of that the Christian people operate by different principles than the world d- does. I get all that, but this man is not. He, this man is not even plugged into reality. Let alone is he not even plugged into Bible truth. And that's what's so troubling about this guy. Thank you, our God. Thank, Thank you, our God. God. Let it happen. And it's sad that all these people are following him in all this. And so. Recently, this was one that came up, and this was when uh, he talked about the media saying that Donald Trump will not be president. And he talks about that, and look at how his church acts. The media said Joe Biden's president. (laughs) Okay, now if that had just stopped right there, that would have been fine. The media said Joe Biden's president. (laughs) Ha, 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 whatever. But I want you to notice how they continue this whole thing for the next several minutes. <laughs> and there comes a point where this is just demonic. And this is not real laughter. This is this is there's something in the spirit world going on in these people's lives. It's very demonic. Uh, holy laughter and things of that nature is an obvious sign of the Kundalini spirit. You can look at Third Adam, our documentary that we dealt with that, uh, and and just just how they act so irrational, irate, and uh, just just do goofy stuff like this when they get filled with this false spirit called the Kundalini spirit. So uh, let's just continue to watch. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and the whole church is on their feet laughing with him. Uh, this is another one that just came up recently about him saying that if you got a bald spot on your head, just declare your hair to grow and your hair will grow. I mean, yeah, that, they actually said that. And uh, this is the clip of him actually doing it. Put your hand on your head like that. Bald spots, I call you gone. And if you'll notice that there's, I saw two or three bald people in the audience whenever they were doing this and guys, their hair did not grow and it will not grow because that's, that's not how this works. I, 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 I would be ashamed to even try something like that in a church service. I mean, we pray for the sick. If somebody, if somebody has a serious illness and they want to come and ask the church to pray for them, I am all for that. Let's do it. Let's all have a word of prayer for this man. Uh, but, but to just put your hands on your head and declare your bald spots to be gone and just say, hair grow, uh, that, that's, that is not Bible Christianity. That is more of a Hindu Eastern mystic type stuff. The law of attraction, uh, decree and declare. Uh, if you speak it, then the words will become flesh. That, that's all Eastern mystic talk. And that's exactly what he's doing here in this video. And so this is very troubling what he's, what he's into. I want to just point this out to you guys. I did send that to uh, a few bald people just in full disclosure. Now this is the one we made a video of just the other day about him mixing his blood with the blood of Jesus and he actually will cut his hand in this video and uh, it's very troubling. This is probably the most demonic thing I've ever seen in a church service done by anybody let alone Kenneth Copeland and so I wanted to show this again. We, we played a full video about this, just this one. It's my uh, cup. But if you notice here what he's going to do, so, and I'm going to turn him down just a bit. But uh, what he's going to do is he's going to actually pretend to cut his hand there. And you'll see him there with that little popsicle stick. It's, this is all symbolic what he's doing there. He's pretending like he's cutting his hand. He's going to squeeze the blood out of his hand into that cup. And, uh, and which to that's me is cutting. just, that's just so demented what he's doing right okay. there. Why would you even do that? There's, there's nothing like that in the Bible. And, uh, and then this other guy's going to do the same thing. And what they're going to do is they're going to mix their bloods together. And I would do the same and squeeze their bloods into the cup. And then they're, they're going to mix their bloods, and then Copeland's going to drink the blood. Jesus said, take this cup. This is my blood of the new covenant. And so they mix their blood, and he, he applies this to the Lord's Supper. And we've mixed our blood. Which is his and which is mine. And we could never separate You can't them. separate that. Now at the communion table. Yes, sir. And so he goes to he drink said, the blood. This is my blood of the new covenant. All of you drink all of it. Judas had to drink that. Yes, sir. So, now, and I want you to be this way every time you take communion and you ought to take it a lot, a lot. Okay, so just I want you to watch how he acts while he's drinking this blood, which apparently is symbolic of his blood being mixed with Jesus' blood, and he's going to drink that blood. And notice how he acts afterwards. He, he acts like he's just got a new fresh power in his soul. Uh, someone pointed out to me, it's almost like he acted like a vampire that just got a new fresh dose of blood in his system. It's really spooky stuff what he's about to do. Yes, sir. Now his blood mm. is in my body. Yes, sir. It's in there. His blood is mixed with my blood. Can you see it? We've been, Western people don't know anything about covenant. Eastern people do. Okay, and so that that is the top five creepiest Kenneth Copeland clips of 2020. Uh, I want to say that I this video brings me no joy. I am not sitting here with some, you know, yeah, I, I told you so attitude. Uh, but I, I want to point out to you that there are people in this world that Satan has risen up as his ministers, his preachers. You see, God has preachers. Satan has preachers, too. And it says there in 2 Corinthians eleven thirteen, the Apostle Paul warned us about people like this. 
He says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And so if you'll notice there that uh, Satan has what the Bible calls his ministers. His ministers. And guys, I want to I want to admonish you. I want to encourage you. Uh, this is a dangerous man. This man, if you believe what he teaches, I I have a tremendous amount of fear for your soul. And I don't say that lightly. I say that knowing that God is listening and knowing that I'll be held accountable for every word that I say in the end day. I understand that. Kenneth Copeland is going to be a man that you do not want to follow. And uh, in many other videos I've done before, I have I have made the plea, you know, I'm not trying to get you to agree with everything on me. Uh, I, and I'm not even trying to really make everybody in the world a Baptist because I know that may not be, uh, a lot of people may not want to go that way. And that's fine. I just want to point you towards the towards Bible truth as much as I possibly can. And guys like Kenneth Copeland are extremely, extremely extremely dangerous you do not want to put your family into a church that has him to come preach you do not want to sit under a pastor that reads his books and follows his ministry you do not want to be around men like this uh, if if you are associated with a ministry that that endorses him or supports him you need to get your family out of that church uh, people who follow Todd White. Todd White says that Kenneth Copeland is one of the greatest men of God he's ever known, and he's fully endorsed him. You do not want to be a part of that. Also, at that, that meeting that I just showed you where uh, Kenneth Copeland was cutting his own hand, uh, Bill Johnson of Bethel Church was preaching at that meeting. And so he, Bill Johnson is a part of this. Everything that you just saw in these videos, Bill Johnson is is linked to that. And I know it gets to be it's kind of like a big spider's web of all these uh, all these people connected to each other, and that can be very complicated and very hard to process all that information. I get that, but please, I'm begging you, get away from guys like Kenneth Copeland. These people are modernist. These people are dangerous. And we've tried to put many good videos on our channel explaining all these ins and outs of theology and why these terms are meaningful and why these things uh, should be talked about in our churches today. So. I'm telling you, these people are ministers of Satan. Kenneth Copeland is not just some guy that I disagree with. Kenneth Copeland is a horribly, extremely dangerous man that will wreck you. He will wreck you and wreck your children spiritually and poison their minds with this false teachings that he has. Guys, please get away from these folks. And if we can help you in any way, we want to. But guys, subscribe to our channel. We have got a lot of good videos like this coming out in the near future. Please stick with us. We're going to expose all of these people. There's a, there's a number of them. Benny Hinn. We're going to talk about Paula White more. Uh, talk about Copeland. Uh, there's another guy that's been going around the streets of the United States having all these um, these revivals and stuff like that. He's connected to Bethel. Uh, we're going to deal more with Todd White. Copeland. Uh, got a lot of Stephen Furtick videos coming out. Uh, listen, anything, anything that is connected to Copeland and anything that is celebrated on, on platforms like TBN and things like that needs to be very skeptical. You need to be very skeptical of them. And so I want to throw that out there for you guys. So guys, God bless you. We love you. And uh, subscribe to our channel. And we'll do many more videos like this in the near future. But in the meantime, please stay away from Copeland. He's a dangerous guy. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.